Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is very important for all of those who are preparing for the interviews. So if you are the one preparing for interview in any data related profiles, it can be data analyst, it can be business analyst, it can be data engineer, it can be data uh, you know, scientist or any Power BI related positions, data visualization related position, business intelligence related positions. So if you are preparing for your next interview, you must watch this particular video. Not only just interview, if you are preparing for all of these roles as well, okay, please listen to me carefully. When it comes to the data profile interviews, guys, it's not always theoretical. They will not ask you what is Power BI, what is Donut Chart, what is Pie Chart, what is Python, what is SQL. This what is questions they will never ask. Okay, what they will ask you how you can do it, especially when it comes to a data related profile interviews. The interview are pure technical. Okay. So if you are preparing something from the PDFs, if you are preparing something from the books, if you are preparing something for just watching the content online or just reading something, I must tell you that you should start work rather than just watching, rather than just listening, rather than just reading. If you want to get into any of the data profiles, you should start working. Okay. So I am in this industry since last more than five years. I have trained more than 50,000 plus students in a Power BI domain. I take a lot of interviews as well. That's why I am telling you all as per my experience that, that you should work on a, you know, tools. You don't need to learn it or you don't need to mug up anything. You just need to have a practical experience and exposure. That's it. You just need to mug up the complete interface where options you can find in the interface or let's say if you want to do a visualizations where you will find options if you want to do a formatting where you will find options so you need to work on the tool so that you will learn every bit of the software okay so basically when it comes to the interviews guys they will ask a technical okay so there will be a core technical round and there will be a core hr round if you pass in the technical round then you will jump into the hr round and there will be a salary discussion and so on so we'll not jump into the hr one we are going to talk about the technical round okay so when it comes to technical round in the data industry they'll start from basics okay they'll start from basics they will first of all check your ground knowledge maybe in the starting you will feel like why they are putting me these questions they are very basic but let me tell you this is just a starting okay so they'll start with the very simple concepts of sql they'll start with the very simple concepts of excel and once you clear all these basic questions then they will jump into the harder one but let's say if you can't able to pass all these basic questions they'll stop there only okay so let me tell you guys if you are preparing for the data industry i must uh, request you to please clear your basics it doesn't matter if you come from any different background if you come from a bcom background bca background btech mtech mba you can come from any technical non-technical background that's fine you can come from any practical experience like sales marketing hr that is also absolutely fine okay but they are okay with your background they are okay with whatever the working profession you had before but they will not okay with if your basic concepts are not clear they want you to prepare first they want you to learn the tool first they want you to complete your basic knowledge first and then come from an interview or come for an interview okay so that's what i want to tell you all guys that first of all learn everything about basics especially excel they can ask random questions if you want to apply vlookup if you want to apply H lookup what is the formula you use if you want to do a summation of anything if you want to find the average if you want to find a percentage how you will gonna do it so you need to verbally explain it they can give you pen and paper as well write the formula 
so that's the level of preparation you need to do okay so learn the basics of excel learn the basics of sql in sql you can learn queries okay we have create query we have insert query and we have select queries we have a lot of conditions where where to where by and so on okay so what you need to do is you need to learn the basics of excel learn the basics of sql and then slowly and gradually you can jump into the power bi and same with the interview process as well if you go for any sort of interview they'll first check your basics if you clear the same then they will increase their level of questions okay then they can jump into power bi basically guys if you go for a specific tool interview let's say if you are going for a position like data analyst then you must know excel sql power bi tableau you know everything a bit but if you are going for a specific role interview like power bi developer then what they will do is they'll hand over the laptop to you okay they'll give you the data set they'll give you some set of questions and you know you are sitting in front of them and they'll give you some time limit like in 15 minutes or in 20 minutes you need to solve that all the questions what they have asked okay so maybe in the interview itself you need to work practically on the tool so that they can check your speed so that they can check what is the level of expertise you have because understand one thing guys resume is a first step towards getting the interview portfolio is also just to check your linkedin profile or projects that's fine but when i take interview or when he, or if any company will take interview not any but most of the company they will check your knowledge live in the interview process itself they'll give you a live questions live data set live challenge and you need to clear it within the interview process itself okay so that's what I want to tell you guys that you need to prepare at that level so that you can solve any questions, whatever they'll ask you in the interview. You can do it for sure, guys. You can definitely do it if you do a good practice. If you do a good practice, if you work a lot on Power BI, okay, the more you work on the Power BI, the more knowledge you get, the more knowledge you get, the more confidence you get. The more confidence you get, then you can face any of the challenges so far. Okay. So make sure guys that if you want to prepare yourself for the interview for any of the data roles or profiles, please go with the basics, then go with the advanced knowledge. And after all the complete process, they'll ask you a bit questions on the real time challenges. Let's say. If you are going for a Netflix uh, interview, if you are going from an Amazon interview, if you are going for a, any, any company interview. So whatever the challenge they are facing, they can ask the question how you can, you know, solve this challenge on the basis of your data analysis. Let me give you an example. Let's say in TechTip24, I want to hire you as a data analyst. In that case, I will ask you that I am facing the challenge. I can't able to analyze my students behavior. Sometimes they complete the course. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they are active. Sometimes they are inactive. So what are the things I am doing wrong as a teacher or as a professor or as a founder? Okay, so this is a maybe this is a challenge I am facing. So this is a question I can ask to you if you are here for the interview. Same with any random companies. If you are going for a startup interview, they can ask that this is a challenge we are facing, how you can solve it. Because guys, ultimately, they will hire you if you can help them to grow. Okay, they will hire you if you can help them how they can generate their revenue. If they are facing any specific challenge and if you can able to solve them, they can hire you. Okay. So that's what you know the complete technical interview looks like and uh, you know once you clear a complete technical interview then the HR round will be there. I hope everything is clear that the interview process is like you need to go from basics to intermediate to advanced then they will ask a real time challenges from their company itself just to check your knowledge just to check your mindset just to check that how fast you can solve the company's issues and company's problem the more active you are in the interview the more you know confident 
so you show the more communication soft skills presentation skills you have the best you know you will get for sure okay so i want to tell you guys be confident be presentable and uh, be knowledgeable okay don't go in any interview with a blank mindset i want you to go with a complete preparation okay so guys uh, this is dr aditi gupta ceo and founder of techtip24 and if you want me to help you in your interview process if you want me to help you in learning power bi then i will share some links in the description you can check out those links and uh, you can comment on this video as well if you want me to answer of any of your question i would love to answer the same uh, that's about uh, in today's video and i will see you in the next and until that time i'll wish you all the luck i'll wish you all the best and please keep upgrading your skills keep learning and be confident bye bye guys have fun please take care and please do subscribe do share this video and hit the bell icon so that uh, you will get the next video link as soon as i upload the same <laughs> okay that final pitch is very difficult for me to tell you but uh, you know you know better you are day and night watching youtube so you know better what you need to do the next after watching the video <laughs> so bye bye guys have fun please take care